Before we get started, I'm giving away a Bitax 403 and a Bitax 800. All you have to do is place an order on the website and any previous customer who has already placed an order, you guys are going to automatically be entered. I'm giving away both of these miners and also a uh, Bitcoin node. It is a mini PC, it's HP, it has an i5, it has um, 16 gigs of RAM and two terabytes. So if you guys are interested, this is 2.4 terahashes, this is 4.2 terahashes, and the Bitcoin node obviously is no terahashes, it's just a node. So if you guys want to win some miners and you guys want to uh, mine on your own Bitcoin node at home, just go ahead and purchase anything on the website and that will give you an automatic entry into winning one of these two or a Bitcoin node. Yep, all right, let's get started. With so let's do a review and unboxing of the Bitax Gamma GT800. If you guys don't know, I have a website, soloblock.io, where I sell solo mining hardware. Currently we have um, Bitax GT800s and Bitax 403s on the website. Everything else has completely sold out, but no worries. Everything is essentially back in transit. For the people that order the Rev 6.1s and the uh, Nerd Oct Axes, those are on the way. They should be here soon. It should fulfill a good amount of the orders. If it said estimated arrival January 29th, it's still on target. I think the Oct Axes are estimated to arrive just one day later on December 30th. But as soon as those come in, I'm going to get all of those shipped out for you guys. So no worries. If you guys are looking for good deals, check out my website, soloblock.io. Everything ships from the U.S., um, a lot of stuff is on pre-order as it keeps selling out, but like I said, there's a whole bunch more in transit. So yeah, let's get to unboxing this. I do still got the Bitax 703 here mining away. Everything is working smoothly. I did a review of this yesterday and whatever stock I had left essentially sold out about maybe a few hours ago. So only about a day. Thank you guys so much for your orders and your support. It helps me keep this going and also helps you guys get good deals on mining hardware because as we all know everybody out here is trying to price gouge for these things so i'm trying to keep the price reasonable for you guys and yeah if you don't know 4.2 terahash only 229 dollars as 6 bm 1368 chips it's a great unit i like it a lot if you guys are interested this um was just restocked on the website for pre-orders and it's estimated to arrive around mid-january the website shows a little bit more accurate um time frame if you don't know, I have this device here. This is the four setup quad bit axe gamma 601s. Has a fan running through the middle to cool it down. It's all, a whole bunch of wire management in there and Tawago connectors. Has a fan control for the middle fan for when you overclock it, you can turn it up or turn it down. It's running off of a meanwhile power supply. Even those two gammas are running all off of one power supply, which is probably a little bit over 50% load. Keep in mind when you get a power supply, get one that has a higher wattage um, because it can, when power supplies run at around 50% load, they're the most efficient. And I have a few uh, Nerd QX++ here. These are also going to be restocked as well. And you guys, I'm getting a whole bunch of Rev 6.1s. So if you guys want, place orders for those. And as soon as those come in, I'll get those shipped out. They're coming uh, mid to late-ish January. But as you guys have seen so far, all my stuff has been coming in early. And if that comes in early as well, you guys already know, I'm going to get that shipped out same day or next day for you guys. So here's the GT800. I've been so busy. This is my first time taking a good look at it. I know I unboxed it for you guys one time earlier. I just have to be careful. So when you guys are removing it from the package, sometimes the packaging styrofoam here is very tight. Unfortunately, one of the 703s. I pulled it out really fast without really paying attention and I kept putting it in and out, in and out because I kept restarting the video I was making and unfortunately I broke something off the back, but just be careful when pulling it out and putting it back in if you need to. So the GT800, I had somebody let me know that this may be um, like a pre-market version, um, one because these are not fully out on the market yet, but I don't know, to me that's pretty cool to be able to have something that's not fully released yet. So I guess the way you can tell it says 800XXX right there instead of like 801 but uh, people so far who have purchased this they say they have no issues and the factory does guarantee me they run uh, efficient smooth no issues whatsoever cool thing is it comes with the XT30 connector 
as you guys know, XT30s um, handle higher amperage than these barrel connectors. The barrel connectors are, if you're running them stock, totally fine. But if you're going to overclock them, you obviously want one that, you know, has like an XT30 connector. Or in the case of the 703, this has the PCI 4-pin connector, kind of what like your computer P uh, CPUs or GPUs might take coming from an ATX power supply. This fan is running at 100% right now as well, and it's actually not that loud. My power supply fan is louder than this one, but larger fans move more air, so they don't need to spin as high RPM, so it's still relatively quiet. But yeah, video is not about that, video is about this. So XT30 connector, higher amperage. Um, they're like the Nerd Oct axes, those come with XT60 connectors. They handle even higher amperage. But for this device, uh, it's not really needed since it's not like a super power hungry device. And this one pushes 2.4 tera hashes. And um, yeah, let me go ahead and get this plugged in for you so we can go into a little bit more detail. Let me go ahead and get this thing powered up. I do have a lot of miners on this circuit, so hopefully my fuse doesn't blow. But let's see what happens. It this should only be pulling about 45 to 55 watts. We'll we'll check that out in the Axe OS. So here's the XT30 male side. That's the female side. Just remember that one side is notched, so you don't make a mistake which way you put it in. But just you know, take a look before you go jamming it in there. It also has a slit as well, so it only fits in one direction. So we'll go ahead and plug this in, and let's watch it power up. There we go. You can hear the fan spinning. And I did um, do a quick tutorial on how to set this up to your pool, not this specific device, but the 703. If you don't know everything, sorry, cut the video off for a second. If you don't know everything in the Axe OS software, it's all the same. So. It's not any different on how to connect it to the pool. If you do want to know, go to the video about the 703 and I give you step-by-step -step clear instructions on how to put that onto any pool. So the fan on this is a little bit smaller, so it is a little bit louder, but keep in mind when it first boots, first boots up, fans run at 100%, but you can definitely change that to an auto setting to where it's not gonna be as noisy. Um, what's special about this is that the Bitax 601s, these have one BM1370 chip from the S minor, S minor, from the Ant Miner S21s. So they are still top of the line uh, chips and one of the most efficient ones out of the market. This one, what's so special about it is that it has two. So it's pretty awesome. Think of it as the Bitax Gamma's big brother. And if you want to see like the OG, <laughs> That's probably, you know, look at the size difference. So, yeah, overall, you know, pretty simple. There's nothing like too crazy about it. That's the four pin fan connector down there. This also has a very big heat sink. Not as big as a 703, but for 703 has six chips, so it needs a big heat sink like that. For only having two chips here and they're very efficient chips, this heat sink is perfectly fine. So I'll go ahead and get into the laptop here and we'll take a look at the Axe OS and see what numbers we're pulling. All right, so we literally just got this hooked up, booted up, and let's see what happens. You're gonna see that the miners will have some valid shares already. That's because the factory does testing on every single unit to make sure everything is running properly with it. So right off the bat, we can see 2.45 terahashes per second at an efficiency of 18.32 joules per terahash. So what that essentially means is watts per terahash. So for every one watt, I'm sorry, for every one terahash, how many watts are you using? So we're at 17.84. When you first start it up, it takes a little bit of time to stabilize. So not bad at all. Currently we're doing slightly over what is the um, estimated hash rate. Efficiency for the BM1370 chips is always great. So as you can see, you get more than double the hash power than one BM1370 chip, depending on how it's overclocked. But look at that, efficiency is still great, right on par, obviously, with the Bitax Gamma 601s, 35 shares, 40 shares. It's not gaining shares that fast. Um, it's just still, still updating its numbers. So right here, you can see on the bottom right, we have two ASIC chips and voltage I'm sorry, ASIC temperature for each ASIC is right here, 56.6 degrees Celsius. Voltage regulated temperature is at 64 degrees Celsius. 
we are pulling 48.9 watts the great part about this bitax gamma gt is that it also is a 12 volt system as i mentioned in the last video having a higher voltage system is much better than a low voltage for example i mean it depends on use case if you are trying to overclock it or do custom modifications kind of like how i have on my four bit x gamma setup if you don't want to run four different uh power supplies you just want to run everything off of one power supply and you want to connect everything to one wire to one power cable usually you're going to want a five volt system because that means less amperage you can't push too many amps through let's say a 12 gauge or a 14 gauge wire because it heats up so the higher voltage you have you're going to have less amperage at the same wattage so it's really cool because it gives you more options to be able to modify it and to change things up without worrying about the limitations on you know the gauge wire using because you can only go so big on the wire i mean obviously you can go as big as you want but you know then folding the wire and moving it around corners and being able to easily assemble you know, it depends if you're a tinker if you're not then you don't really have to worry about that then you know you're good overall no issues whatsoever so there we go kind of stabilizing as we are stabilizing we'll go ahead and take a look bedx gamma turbo 800 2bm 1370 chips we've been running for about three minutes connected to wi-fi we have to the pool is still being set to the factory's pool settings so here's the pool it supports two pool configurations a uh, primary pool and a fallback pool network settings so this is what we want to see right here the stock settings the factory has set it at is 625 on the frequency and 1150 on the core voltage this is how you overclock and underclock you know if you're trying to go for efficiency if you're trying to go for overclocking uh, like i recommend you know keep everything stock settings you want to preserve the longevity of your devices you don't want them to you know there's more wear and tear as you you know the more heat in the winter you can overclock because you know the ambient temperature is lower but in the summer you're pushing so much heat through these things it's not really worth it just you know run it at stock settings get another bit axe gamma for like what 92 bucks or another one of these and it's not going to cost you much compared to you burning out your equipment in like a few months you know so all of my products they do come with at least a three month warranty some manufacturers depending on what item you got they might come with a six month warranty but you know unfortunately i know you know it's a diy thing and people love to overclock and i went through that too and i enjoyed it during that time but you just have to be careful because obviously they're not gonna you know they're gonna overclocking and damaging your board is gonna invalidate your warranty so there's just gonna be issues there just run it stock for as long as you can at least until the warranty period is done and then whatever you want to do after that go ahead do it but it would suck to get you know a brand new miner in and then you're burning it up on your overclocking but yeah so essentially everything seems to be running fine stable I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. We're doing 2.54 terahashes. You know, I would say you could probably even slightly bring the frequency down a little bit to get around 2.3, 2.4, what it's rated at. And then that way you'll at least get the, you know, efficiency a little bit better. Although this is great efficiency, that's not bad at all. One thing I'm noticing is the share number here, the share numbers are jumping up. Um, it may be because it's still updating from what the factory, um, had it at maybe the factory was testing it up to like 200 or 300 shares and the numbers are still updating or you know there's just maybe an accurate share number but no big deal so if we go to the swarm feature we can see all of all of the devices i have on my network here we'll wait for it to pop up it just takes a second what it's doing is it's scanning your network pulling up all the ip addresses so we have 11 units here we're running 497 watts the best difficulty i got was 56.92 g's if you don't know g means billion it's pretty awesome fractal bitcoin you only got to get above about five g's so that's over 10 times over fractal bitcoin um if you're trying to win bitcoin cash it's got to be like i believe 950 g's and then bitcoin you don't want to know bitcoin it's like in the you know i think trillions hundreds of trillions so it's very difficult to hit a bitcoin block but hey you know as long as you're in the game and you're mining some people say like, hey, you know, it's never possible. I'm never going to mine. But at the same time, it's like you can pay 92 bucks, you know, get a bit X gamma. At least you're in the game. If it does hit, it hits. If it doesn't, you know, for pulling like 15 watts or something like this, pulling 40 watts, not that bad. It's like a couple of light bulbs. 
if you have solar it's you know you don't even worry about it anyways so it looks like yep currently so here's a 703 from yesterday so we hit a best of 123 million it's been going for 13 hours and this one pulls 91 watts but the one we are looking for if we hit host name we can organize it by name gt800 yeah 257 shares accepted so this is the amount of shares it's accepted in its lifetime this bottom number is since its last restart so 2.51 terahashes per second the star means this is the device that we're currently viewing right now seven minutes 50 watts full difficulty is a thousand this is mining to the factory's pool pull it up on the website soloblock.io here's the website if you guys want to see and place orders these ones i still do have in stock i have about like i think like 15 of them left if you guys do want to place an order i'll get these shipped out same day or next day no issues whatsoever and look at that price 149 i'm sure you guys know that there are um gamma 601s 1 1.2 or 1.05 tera hashes that some companies are selling for 189 so yeah i try to be very competitive with my pricing try to make it affordable for everybody i'm not making huge margins on these like everybody else my profits are pretty slim especially when accounting for shipping and you know credit card processing fees and all that but yeah i try to make it very affordable and if you guys are interested in the bitax gamma gt 800 turbo man these names are crazy they're just like getting longer and longer but yeah it's here available it'll ship asap and if you guys are interested check it out all right let me know what you guys think in the comments peace